What's up, YouTube? This is Phil from Walmart. How you guys doing? It's been a while. I haven't been on doing my YouTube channel. Shame on Phil. Where have I been? Am I still at Walmart? This goes out to Pasha because he was concerned. He? She? Pasha. I don't know if it's a male or female. Anyway, Pasha, this goes out to you. Thank you for being concerned and wondering where I've been. Because I haven't been posting content on the YouTube channel. But if everyone goes to my TikTok under the same name, that's where most of my content is nowadays. Uh, I have been taking some of my content from there and reposting it on here. So, um, but yeah. Yes! Pasha, I'm still here at Walmart. I uh, my official hire date was or is April 26, 2021, and so at the end of this month of or end of October was my official one and a half years uh, here at Walmart. Um, what what have I been doing? I've been working, <laughs> working. Um, driving, putting out the content on TikTok, but more importantly, I've been working with new drivers that are coming on board and showing them the routes and, and showing them how to use the ALD and trying to teach them little tricks that I've learned in my short time here. Um, I'm still, uh, safe, um, meaning I do everything I can to keep myself safe and I've gotten every bonus that I've uh, had coming to me so if that tells you anything I don't like to talk about it too much because I think that jinx it jinxes it but I do my part to stay safe and that's what matters so um, but uh, Halloween I took off Halloween uh, we decorate our house for Halloween and uh, I enjoy scaring the kids all of our kids are are older. They're the youngest turns 26 this year, and the oldest is 36. And there's five others in between there. So um, we stay. We don't have kids at home to scare. So the kids that come up to the house, those are the ones that get scared. And it's so cute to watch some of them because some of them are too afraid to come up to the house um, because of all the noise and because we have some animatronic ones and stuff like that that make noise and uh, so they are a little afraid to come up to the house maybe I'll post that video on here so you guys can see it but uh, other than that uh, it is the beginning of November and Donner Donner Pass it is it's one of those those winter weather driving conditions. You guys got to slow down, and this goes out to everybody. But um, I started my week on Tuesday this week, and they gave me a, a move to Reno Sparks, our DC out in McCarran, and I took an empty out there. I was Tuesday morning. They gave me a load and I got out of there right away. My load was going to Wairika and then to Eureka. So instead of heading back over Donner, uh, I headed 395, which there was a wind advisory. Other than that, I thought it was pretty safe um, until I got going up, uh, up 36 just past Susanville. I started seeing other trucks coming my way with snow on them and with ice and dropping ice and, and I'm just thinking, oh, here we go. Uh, because that way you take 44 down the back way to 89. And uh, last year that, that area got hit hard too with the snowstorm in November. So yeah, it was snowing um, and uh, just had to take my time. Just be safe and, and get there. 
Uh, luckily for me, that route, there was nobody really on the road. That's why I kind of like that route. It's not as highly traveled. But um, so that's 395, turns into 36 through Susanville, and then 44, and then you get on 89 and head north. Uh, you could either go towards Reading and cut across 299 to get to Reading or just stay on 89 and it'll put you close to Weed and uh, you get on I-5 and go to Wairika from there. So I went straight up 89 and didn't have a problem. But my little ELD guy here, he was just going off and, you know, it we get alerts from our dispatchers, uh, mainly in McCarran on, on concerning Donner, chain requirements, spin outs, closures, open, closed, open, minimum, maximum, you name it. They're just keep hammering them with, uh, with updates, which is good because it gives us the option to, to make up our mind on what we're going to do, uh, from a driver safety standpoint. But, uh, it sounded like it was just chaos, chaos going over uh, Donner. So I was kind of glad because I almost, when I got the load, I almost thought, well, I'll go over Donner and then head up I-5 uh, straight from there all the way to Eureka. But uh, I chose not to do that because I knew it was going to get, uh, it was, the snow was coming because when I was heading east, there was rain, uh, like Auburn plus there is a an accident truck on the westbound side had gone off the the side and that was backing up traffic so th those kind of things kind of made my decision to go 395 but uh, other than that um, went over to Eureka came back here and uh, overnighted here in Red Bluff that's where I'm at right now and uh, they gave me a load this morning to Roseburg Oregon from from here to Roseburg is about 285 miles or somewhere right around there, close to 284, and uh, then another 284 back. So yes, I did 568 miles today. Um, I turned it. I, I I turned and burned. I was supposed to pick up a pallet trailer uh, because in the system they're showing that uh, they are have a standing order for pickup on Thursdays. Well got there and they didn't have anything loaded and there the store associates tell me hey we changed that to friday i'm like hey i'm fine with that i'll take the empty you got an empty i'll take that because it's a lot faster going back up those hills uh over the siskiyou pass with an empty rather than one with loaded with pallets so i was happy to get out of there with an empty and that way i was able to get back here i was able to get back here with with about um 30 minutes, almost 30 minutes on my drive. I did run into some traffic due to construction, um, but uh, that was it. I did get pulled in the scales <laughs> and cotton wood this morning. I thought, well, this is how the week, the day is going to go. I'll get pulled in the scales 19, 20 miles into my trip. Uh, but uh, passed with flying colors. I have no violations on the trailer or on the tractors. So got the new sticker. On the trailer got the new sticker on the tractor so we're good to go but uh, yeah that's Pasha that's that's pretty much it man it's just I just been trucking and and I took a week off uh, my wife had surgery on her knee uh, took a week off for that and then my daughter um, came in from Australia and uh, spent a week off for that but she was only here in my area for three days and then she went down to Southern California to go visit her mother and uh, go visit friends and she was attending a wedding uh, from a high school friend of hers um, so it was great seeing her I hadn't seen her since 2016 <laughs> in person I uh, haven't seen her in person since 2016 when she got married um, so that was great to see her but uh, I think that catches up everything uh, yeah I'm just I'm still enjoying it here I mean my ADP has come up pretty su substantially um, 
like I said, I'm taking on more responsibility uh, with uh, helping with the training of new drivers joining Walmart, and that's fun. Um, you know, it's what I kind of did when I was at UPS. So, uh, kind of, I'm not teaching them how to drive unless unless they need or ask for some help. Um, make me feel comfortable in the right seat and and we're fine and I'll just show you the how to do the stores and show you how to do the ELD and we're good to go um, but you know some of them are coming on they're they're not as familiar they they didn't do vendors at their previous job they never had to do that so that's teaching them how to handle things at the vendors um, maybe they did flatbed and they're now doing a like a 40 foot flatbed now they're doing a 53 foot dry van or a 53 foot reefer and the setup you know just kind of getting them used to that so sometimes just take them in the yard and just let them let them practice back it up show them a couple of tricks and then let them just go at it and just kind of be there to be their extra eyes and in case you know they're getting close to something you can stop them but um it's it's really it's really just getting them acquainted with the process and comfortable uh, with the process and um, but it's good it's good get to meet the guys uh, drivers that are coming on as well so um, you know when I'm out driving myself I rarely stop long enough to say hello uh, I say hello I, I'm friendly but I don't stop long enough to have a full-on conversation around the water cooler so to be able to spend a week or like my last uh, new mentee was two weeks I had him for the week in the sleeper and then they had me work with him for a week in the day cab so it was good and uh, it also gives them a a point of reference too or somebody to reach out to um, because just because the, the week is over or the two weeks are over, we exchange phone numbers and we keep in contact and they, they'll call me and ask me questions. Um, I had one call me today, I had one call me yesterday. Um, I encourage it, you know, if I'd rather you call and ask than, than to do something wrong and, and then get put on a step or something st stupid. Um, so yeah, call me. Yeah, definitely. Because that's what I'm here for. Someone's going to ask, do I get paid anything extra for it? Not really. I do it because I want them to feel comfortable here. Uh, we get a little, a little bit for the week, but it, it equates to like $20 a day. It's not, it's not, it's not like I'm getting a huge amount more for, uh, working with these drivers um, if they stick around and they're safe for a year then I get a little bit more than that you know it, it's but they got to be safe for the whole year so we'll see right but um, I made it my first year and was able to get the bonuses for my two men mentors but anyway that's where I'm at so I'll try to do some more videos on here uh, or I'll just dump my other stuff in here. So I appreciate you guys watching. And again, if you're interested in joining Walmart, um, I'll leave in the description my uh, full name, driver number, and location and location code so that you can add that to your application. Um, but uh, everyone, stay safe. Good seeing you guys again.